Hey y'all, welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Now, you may be wondering why I'm in a robe, but it's because I'm doing a big outfit reveal. I got a call this morning from my friend Carlin. She's kind of like an older sister, um, but I was asleep. Kind of, I was, I was just waking up, wasn't going to answer. So, I'm calling Carlin back. I feel like she doesn't understand my style. So, I'm going to trick, kind of trick her. I put on an interesting outfit, another very experimental outfit. Uh, something Ashley Tisdale would probably cop, but I've never said that before. But, um, I just want to see what Carlin has to say about my style choices, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. This is what we're working with. Tell me you don't see Sharpay wearing this. But, um, let's see what Carlin says. But I'm so glad that all the Kents watch the vlogs. I love you guys. The Mizells, the Kents, my family. You know what, also, from the last vlog, I'm pretty sure Weston was being facetious. Is that the right word? About watching the vlogs. I don't think he watches them, but I know you do, Angie. I'll, imp I'll show you the text Carlin sent me after I didn't answer her. Carlin, I actually did need to ask you, where are you? I'm looking at baby Cecil and I'm recording. Oh my god, your hair! Yes, girl. I um was going to ask you for your opinion about my outfit, okay? You want my my actual opinion? Honest, honest Carlin, uh like anything that comes to mind. Ready? Okay, hold on. I can't see it because Cecil wants your phone. Okay. I can kind of see it. Are you ready? Bye. I see your robe. Okay, I'm taking it off. Why? <laughs> Check out the, the other skirt. I like the other skirt. You do? Okay, that's a that's a start. What about the earrings? Check them out. This one's a goldfish in a bag. That's amazing. And this one, that. do you like the um, I different? I probably wouldn't mismatch them. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, have <laughs> you and Steven been watching the vlogs? Cecil and I watch it. Oh my god, you're watching Auntie Cecil? But yeah, I don't love this, the skirt top thing. Girl, I'm not sure how I feel about this one, but I I just told the vlog that I put this on solely to get your reaction. Sure, sure. Right. So I mean, I already saw the denim one, you know? Yeah, that one, I liked that one. So I, ha I was prepared. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, something like that. Yes. See, I could not wear this in public. No, people would look at you. Definitely here. But I do like the bottom skirt. Like, if it was with a cute, like, like a cute, solid colored top, okay, but okay. not a skirt. Yeah. I'll visit you when the coronavirus is over. Yeah. Bye, buddy. Bye, bye Carlin. Okay, bye. Okay, are you going to hang up? Yeah, bye. Okay. Okay, you guys, in the time we spent apart, I've tried on my outfits so many times, so many different outfits, and came up with nothing, and it doesn't even matter because nothing matters but this now. Um, Kyle Massey posted a photo about 45 minutes ago, a little over that, and I commented really quickly, got on that, and I said, I posted a YouTube video about you, Kyle, the link is in my bio, crying face heart, and he commented back, he said, King Julian Ponyo wants ham. I hope it's dope. LOL. I'm just wondering if he's gonna check it out now. Like, if someone said I posted a video about you to me, I would watch it immediately. So, I should check my YouTube. That's the one video that didn't have comments open though. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen there. I'm just gonna give him a ring. Wow. Is he not gonna? Hello? Guess what? What? Guess. Um. 
No, that would have been way better. Actually, no, not way better. But this is really good. I commented. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, you said you commented? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I commented on Kyle Massey's Instagram and he commented back. What'd you say? I said, I posted a YouTube video about you, Kyle. The link is in my bio, crying face heart. And he commented back and he said, I hope it's dope, lol. <laughs> I hope you watch it. I know! That's the only video that's. That's the only video that doesn't have comments open, though, right? I know. So I thought that was funny, though. I wanted to tell you. Wait, how many? When did you come? When did, when did he come back? Like just now? No, it's been a little while. 18 minutes ago. 18 minutes ago? Yeah. Maybe he, uh... Why did you FaceTime me? Uh, I just yeah. like... <laughs> no, I was just, um, calling because I didn't want to face. <laughs> Do you know how many likes there were? Mm-hmm. How many? Five. Oh my god, I think there's six. Really? I think there's six likes! <laughs> But the comments are turned off. Damn. That sucks. You have 182 subscribers. What? Do you think Kyle Massey subscribed? <laughs> um, no, because I, I looked this morning. Oh, yay. That's exciting, though. I've gained two subscribers since Vlogmas. I mean, you got two in the past, like, eight hours, or in, like, the past 12 hours. Oh, my God. Oh, my phone. <laughs> His phone time. Okay, now we're calling my mom to tell her about Kyle Massey. Uh, Hi, mom. I was just calling because I was. He said, I hope it's dope, lol. <laughs> so I was like, maybe. And the video has a new like. Like, oh. maybe he watched it. Cool. And I've gained two subscribers. There you go. So. Every little bit helps. Yeah, I just thought it was funny. I wanted to tell you about Kyle Massey. Cool in the house. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all. That's kind of loud. I'm sorry. I really am sorry, but I'm not doing anything fun today. I... Just don't have energy. I told myself, you know what? Let's do, let's do a workout for the vlog. Let's do like a little routine, like what I do when I work out. But I just am tired and I want to watch stuff. And so I think, and then like a little bit ago, I got really hungry, so I ate a bunch of chips. And then I was like, wait, I'm like hungry for a meal. So I found this mac and cheese. I, I don't make mac and cheese very much because I don't love cheese, but I do like mac and cheese with applesauce. That's weird, I don't care. I think it's like a condiment and it cools down and makes it less cheesy. So I'm going to make this, see if I like it, and eat it if I like it, and watch stuff. But I'm thinking while I make it, maybe I'll like look up some fun questions or something. Um, and I really love you guys. I did um, just send Kyla Massey a DM and I'm really hoping like he gets back to me. I just am trying to open up a conversation. But, um, starting to bubble. Um, so I'm going to put this in, then I'll grab my phone and, I'll grab my phone and maybe look at some questions or something. <laughs> oh my god, I actually just, you know like when you look up like you're trying to play a drinking game or come up with something to, um, like just questions to ask. I don't know if other people look that stuff up, but I never can find a good website with good questions and I found one right off, I think. This one's so good. What would you name your boat if you had one? Um, I didn't think about my answer. How it used to be would be like, go for a really unique name so you are different. But now I'm more like, be whatever's authentic to you. So I think I would go with, 
Samuel Robert, because I have two cousins on the same side of the family named Samuel Robert, so that's why I would name my boat. But we'll finally break the internet when Kyle Massey FaceTimes me. What's the most useless, ta useless talent you have? Mine would be hula hooping or standing on my head. What celebrity would you rate as a perfect 10? Oh, I've got a few. Definitely Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, um, Maddie from Euphoria, I don't remember. Alexa, I think is her name. Alexa Demi. Um, <laughs> Eugene Levy, Robert Pattinson. There's a ton. I could literally go on forever. I love celebrities. Oh, if you had to choose a new name for yourself, what would it be and why? Um, I've always liked the name Jane, just because, like, I think it's so simple and sweet, and, like, I think I look like a Jane. I love Jane from Tarzan. I don't look like her, but, like, I could look like a Jane. I also, um, during forensics was Fern from Charlotte's Web, and I think that I could be a Fern, but ultimately, if I was going by stage name when I was a rock star, when I am a rock star, pop star, I'd be Obsidian. It's my favorite rock. And I love The Rock. I forgot to say Perfect Celebrity, The Rock. He is my top up there. I love him. What's the craziest thing one of your teachers has done? There's this one story. Like, my freshman year of college, I had this... I was in a gender and women's studies class. And some of the topics we discussed in class, I just wasn't comfortable talking about in front of the whole class. Because it was like a gender, women's, and sexuality studies. And I just like wasn't ready to talk about some things. Just like, I didn't want to answer the questions. I knew the answers sometimes. But one time, Rachel and I wrote really good papers for that class. And the teacher, the professor, like one time asked a question. And the same people always answered. Because you could tell which people were like more uncomfortable to answer. But one time she asked um, a question and the same person answered and they were like no you don't you can't answer someone else has to answer and she was looking right at me and rachel like she knew after we wrote papers like we got perfect on them and she was like you guys need to answer this like i could tell by the way she was looking at us and rachel and i didn't give in i just wasn't comfortable answering the question and i don't even remember what it was but um oh my god she literally dismissed the class right then like, because no one answered, and because Rachel and I, it was because Rachel and I didn't answer the question. She's like, you know what, if no one wants to participate in my class, then, um, I'm gonna end it. But it's like, that doesn't make very much sense to me. Like, I'm giving you what you want in my papers, my writing, I'm learning from you, I'm understanding, but I'm not comfortable talking about it right now. Like, does that make sense? I know that, it just doesn't, like, the whole class was all about, like, consent and stuff, and then... And then she, like, was trying to force us to answer a question. I didn't put a timer on for this. It's probably done. Then it's just the cheese sauce. That kind of is disgusting. That actually grosses me out a lot. I hope I can eat this. I think once it's all mixed together, I'll feel better. Okay. Ooh, I'm a little grossed out. I don't know. I don't know. I'll do a taste test with no applesauce. One noodle. kind of good. Okay. Um, a little cheesy. I need that for sauce. Um, I think I'm going to end the vlog. I'm so sorry. I do want to say that like I am having so much fun doing this and tomorrow will be better. I'm going to do the workout tomorrow. But um, I am having so much fun. And I really hope that you guys are enjoying the vlogs. I love you. Bye.